Hosting scientists and policy makers, the WHO hub will allow national communicable disease agencies to share information and technologies easier. This will include data on human-animal interactions, genome sequencing, as well as travel patterns. Nigerian epidemiologist Chikwe Ihekoazu will be at the helm of the brand new global facility. Our role is to translate a grand vision by the DG and Chancellor Merkel into reality over the next few months and years ahead. Our, our work is cut out for us. We will get down to work very soon. We'll look for the best possible team from within WHO and outside, from our partners, member states and stakeholders uh, to this exciting uh, city to deliver on this vision. Um, we will work hard to deliver both the best science and the, using the best public tools, public health tools available. And the Lessons taken from the eradication of polio and the control of Ebola proved that early detection and continuous research assist in preventing major outbreaks. The hub will develop state-of-the-art tools to process and analyze data for detection and response. Viruses move fast, but data can move even faster. With the right information, countries and communities can stay ahead of emerging risks and save lives. Urbanization, deforestation, climate change, and intensified agricultural practices are all increasing the risks of zoonosis, spilling over into human populations. At the same time, new technologies are giving us the ability to predict, prevent, detect, and respond to outbreaks faster. The hub will be partly financed by Germany, which will put up $100 million for the first three years of operation. We need to enhance and we have to work to expand the Global Action Plan. The pandemic has made it more difficult, even more difficult to achieve the sustainability goals. It was already difficult before the pandemic. Health for everyone is one of the core goals enshrined in the Sustainable Development Goals and that is why we have to um, gather speed in the coming years. The European country has been continuously praised for its leadership during this pandemic. Gabriesis also used the event to award the German Chancellor for her country's contribution to fighting COVID-19. Noma Polani, SABC News.